boys and girls, the moment we've all been waiting for, or at least I've been waiting for for a while. I don't wanna, yeah I do. I, okay, so I'm getting, I got a camera upgrade. And the funny thing is, it's the same price as my current camera. I've got a Canon 70D, that's what I'm, that's what I'm filming on right now. Um, but this is a Panasonic Lumex G85. I've heard that it's also called a G80 or a G81, depending where you are. And I have not opened it yet, as, even though the package might look like it. Can you kind of see? My package got a little beat up. That's all part of the fun. All right, all right, let's do this. Let's, let's just crack into it. I'm gonna be giving you a hard review. So we got like the plugs, a battery, charger, and the plug, the micro USB that goes to it. The little, whoa. What are these called? A little sun, sun, sun guard or something? I got the kit with the uh, the 12 to 60 lens. Nice, nice, small, robust. Whew. You got a strap. I never use my shoulder strap because when I'm doing videos, you can hear it clanking around. And then the camera. Oh my goodness, it's so small. Wow. It is little, it's a little guy. That's sweet. I'm gonna probably cut these off. It feels nice. Let's see. Let's let's look at some uh, box stats. So we got. So it gives you 4K video, 12 megapixel camera, which is very small. The most important thing is the touchscreen. That's super important to me, because especially if, if you're vlogging or if you're doing a video like I'm actually doing it, I've got my screen out on my uh, 70D. If it didn't have it, I wasn't gonna get it. So this this has it. So that's, that's that. Um, well, well, all that being said, all the logistics aside, I just wanted, that's a good looking little camera. That's, a, I mean, it's a little guy. Just look at this guy. Button layout's nice. You got the SD card slot on the side, right side, which I think is good because that's where your hand covers up. So mic port on the side right there. And then some other stuff like your charging and what have you. Micro HDMI and stuff. Man, I really just, I like how it feels. Batteries on the bottom. Oops, putting the battery in. Whew. Focus is a little slow. A little on the slow side. But this this lens is deep. It's got these dials in the top. There's there's this dial. There's this dial. And then there's just the regular bezel for ISO and what have you. Maybe there's a setting. It's going. It is a slow autofocus. Okay. There's a quick autofocus button. So I'm just gonna turn that on. Let's see if that changes anything. Oh wow, night and day. It takes a little bit. Let's go and uh, let's go and do some test footage really fast. Come along. Whoa, zoomed in a little bit, huh? Here we are. We got this camera. The autofocus isn't as bad as they were saying it was. I'm gonna go outside. I'm going outside. I'm also curious how the mic sounds in the camera. Man, you see the focus though? Just looks like it takes a while. So right now I'm shooting on uh, 1080p at 60 frames. I'm gonna try the 4K. It's got a 4K capability. So that's 4K. Um, I'm gonna go and try some uh, low light, low light shots, see what that looks like. As I go into the darkness. The focus kind of freaks out a little bit. But it's still there. I mean, we're in some low, low light. That's not bad. It's not too grainy. I mean, this is in 4K still. I mean, that's getting... That's not bad. So I took a few shots with it. But the video looks really crisp. And all the reviews that I watched, um, it seemed like the focus was an issue. But the focus didn't, I mean, it doesn't look too bad to me. I mean, and it looks really crisp. The zoom is backwards. So on this one, you turn clockwise. On the Canon, you turn counterclockwise. So that's something that I have to get used to. I think it's all just a learning curve. Oh, the viewfinder is uh, digital, which is really, really weird. I don't know. I think I need to make a video with it before I can really judge. But I mean, I, I like it. Man, I think you get the focus to work a little bit better. There is touch focus, where you can touch the screen and it focuses on a spot. I don't know, I'm gonna have to give it a week. It's different, it's definitely different. Yeah, so that's my, 
that's my review. I hope that this was helpful. The Panasonic G85, um, it's small. It's a little guy. That's all I got for today. Don't forget to comment, favorite, share, like, subscribe, do it all, you be legit. Panasonic G85, mirrorless camera. It's new to me. I've never had a mirrorless camera, so that's that's probably every. I mean, everything has a learning curve, so I just have to I just have to learn it. But this was my my first first look unboxing, and I hope you enjoyed it. Do something nice, somebody. Peace out.